Sir, only po. So, we will check your answer at 1.15 p.m. Okay? Yes po. Multiply po. Wait lang. Admit natin yung iba. Sana sila. Sige, rejoin lang po pag nawala ah. So, para sa mga bagong dating po, the drill is to multiply the following numerical expression, then answer the questions that follows. So, number one, we have 97 times 103. For number two, we have 25 times 25. Then number three, we have 99 times 99 times 99 on your notebook. Yes. Okay, last two minutes. <laughs> um, Jeremy, kindly mute your mic. Thank you. <coughs> okay, are you done? Gerald Mara is done. Okay, sige. Last two minutes. Sige po. Take your time. Quiet. Ma'am, paano pa mag-chat? Ano po ang gamit? Cellphone or laptop? Kapag cellphone po, yung katabi ng mga tao, yung kasunod nun. That will be the chat. Yung parang ano po siya, call out. Doon po pwede mag-chat. Sa laptop po ako, ma'am. Check ko, ha. Okay, to chat. Yung upper part po. Chrome pala, ma'am. So, yung upper part po, ganun pa rin. Sa upper right corner po, yung katabi ng mga tao, yung parang meron siyang call-outs na may line-line. Yun po yung, ano, chat. Nakita na? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Mag-open ng mic. Okay. Oh, ma'am. Mas may itatanong or something na isi-share. Okay na. Let's answer na po. Okay. Since maaga na tapos si Gerald Mara, so let's have Gerald Mara's answer. Sige. Gerald, kindly share your answer for number one, two, and three. You can open your mic. Gerald Mara, where are you? Ayan. Oh, yes. What's your answer for number one? 97 times 103? 9,991. 9,991 is correct. How about number two? 625. Okay, number two is 625. That's correct. How about number three? 970,299. Okay, 970,299 is also correct. Okay, that's correct. So, kindly check your work for number one. The correct answer is 9,991. 
For number 2, we have six, uh, 625. For number 3, we have 970,299. Okay. So, question, Gerald. Did you solve them easily? Opo, ma'am. Okay. What technique did you use in solving? Isip ko lang po. Okay. So, syempre, with the process of multiplication. Tama po ba? Since ang ating operation ay multiplication. So, what difficulties did you encounter? Meron po ba? May part po ba na nahirapang mag-multiply? Wala naman. Okay, wala naman. Thank you. Okay, so let's proceed with our lesson. So, lesson number one is all about special product. Ayan. So, polynomials are of different kinds. So, the number of terms given greatly affects in naming the kind of polynomials presented. So, we have three kinds of polynomial. So, the first one is what we call the monomial. Monomial is named after the word mono, which means one term. Okay? So, pag sinabi daw nating monomial from the word mono, which means one. So, ibig sabihin, one term lang po siya. It's either A A lang, B, B lang po. Okay? The second kind of polynomial is what we call the binomial. Binomial is named after the word by. By which means two. So we can say that binomial is a polynomial with two terms. So pag sinabi natin two terms, an example is A plus B, C plus D. So we have two terms. Then, the third one is what we call the trinomial. Trinomial is named after the word tri, which means three. Trinomial is a polynomial with three terms. So, pag sinabi natin three terms, it's either A plus B plus C, or C plus D plus E, E plus F plus G. Okay? So, we have different kinds of polynomial. Uh, hindi na po. Discussion lang po to answer activity sheet number one. Para lang mag-guide kayo on how are you going to answer the activity. Okay? Then we have polynomials, especially in the forms of factors, are often encountered in many fields of mathematics. So one way is using formulas wherein products and factors can be determined from familiarity with forms and combination. Special product is a mathematical term in which factors are combined to form product. It is special because they do not need long solution. So using though po the following steps on how are we going to get the product of the given expression in a short way, not in a long solution. So, meron daw tayong apat na klase ng special product. The first one is the square of a binomial. The second one is the sum and difference of two binomials. Number three is the square of a trinomial. Then number four is the product of a binomial. So, in this lesson, we are focusing more on number one and number two which is the square of a binomial and the sum and difference of two binomials. So, yun po yung i-discuss ko ngayon para masagutan niyo po yung inyong activity sheet number one. Nagkakaintindihan po ba? Nagets po ba? Okay, so let's start with the square of a binomial. So, pag sinabi po natin square of a binomial, it is a special product that results into a perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, ano-ano yung steps natin or formulas that we can use to find the product of a square of a binomial. So, the sum of the squares of the first term, that will be the first step. So, kailangan daw, square natin yung unang term. 
ng given expression. Then, the second step is to twice the product of the two terms. So, twice, ibig sabihin, doblehin daw natin yung product ng first term at ng second term. Pangatlo, square the last term. So, we have three steps. Yung una po, square the first term. Step number two, twice the product of the two terms. Then, step number three is the square of the last term. So, on the screen, kita naman po natin yung screen. Nakikita po yung cursor ko na gumagalaw. Okay. So, example, we have A plus B square. We can say that A plus B square is an example of a square of A binomial. Why? Because given two terms, which is A and B, then square. Okay? So, A plus B square is an example of a square of A binomial. A plus B square can also be written as, sulat ko po ah, A plus B times A plus B. Ayan. So, pwede rin daw po siyang isulat as A plus B times A plus B. Parehas lang po sila. Nagkakaintindihan po. So, yung A plus B squared can be written as A plus B times A plus B. So, minultiply lang natin siya sa kanyang sarili. Okay? So, we're in the product of a square of A binomial is equivalent to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. Oh, wala yung squared ko, sorry. Okay? Nasusundan po ba? Pwede po mag-open mic. Don't worry. Nasusundan po ba? So, paano po naging A squared plus 2AB plus B squared? So, by doing the following step, so sabi kanina, square of the first term. So, since ang first term natin is A, we need to have A squared or A times A. A times A is equivalent to A squared. To get the middle term, which is 2AB, we need to get the second step, which is twice the product of the two terms. So, 2 times the first term is A times the second term is B. So, that will be 2 times A times B. So, we have 2AB for the middle term. Then, for the last term, to get the value of B squared, sabi sa step, we need to have the square of the last term. So, we have B squared or B times B. Okay? So, we have B squared. So, the product of the square of A binomial is equivalent to A squared plus 2AB plus B. Nakuha po ba? Nakuha po ba? Okay. Another one, if the given expression is A minus B squared, so again, this is an example of square of A binomial. We have one, two term that is being square. Ang pinagkaiba lang po is the sign. Kung kanina we have positive, this one is negative. So it's the same process. We have three steps to do. So the first step is to square the first term. So we have A. A times A or A squared. That will be our first term. Then for the inner term, we have negative 2AB. Why negative 2AB? Because we need 2 twice, 2 
times the product of A times negative B. Since our B is negative, so we have negative 2AB. Then to get the last term, we have B times B or we can have the B squared. So that is the square of A binomial. So let's apply with the following expression. So illustrative example number 1. So multiply 3x minus 7 square. So ang first term natin is 3x. Then our second term is negative 7. Okay? So following step 1, 2, and 3. So square the first term. Since ang first term natin ay 3x, that will be 3x squared. 3x squared is the same as 3x times 3x. So 3 times 3 is 9. Then x times x is x squared. So the product of 3x squared is 9x squared. Nakuha po ba? Step number 1. Nakuha po ba? Pwede po mag-on ng mic ha? Apo ma. Okay. So step number 2. So twice the product of the two terms. So 2 times the product of 3x and negative 7. So we have 2 times the first term is 3x times the second term is negative 7. So 2 times 3x, that is 6x. Multiply by negative 7, we have negative 42x. Okay? Then for step number 3, we have to square the last term. Since the last term is negative 7, so we have negative 7 square. So negative 7 times negative 7, that is positive 49. Bakit? Kasi negative times negative is positive. Okay? So negative 7 times negative 7 is equivalent to positive 49. So combining the three term, we have... 9x squared minus 42x plus 49. Question po. May question po ba? Ano po, ma'am? Nakuha naman po ba? Opo. Opo, ma'am. Okay, that is with the use of the method or formula. Another way to get the product of a square of a binomial is using the FOIL method. So, pag sinabi natin FOIL method, F stands for the first term, O stands for the outside term, I stands for the inner or inside term, then L stands for the last term. So, kaya siya tinawag na FOIL method. So, sabi ko kanina, since ang given natin ay 3x minus 7 square, same pa rin po yan sa kanina. 3x minus 7 square, it can be written as 3x minus 7 times 3x minus 7. Okay? So, applying the FOIL method, we need to have the first term. Tignan nyo lang po yung arrow. Ang first term daw natin ay 3x. Multiply doon sa first term ng second expression natin, which is also 3x. So, multiply lang po. 3x times 3x, that is 3 times 3, that is 9. Then, x times x, that is x squared. Kaya, the answer is 9x squared. Nakuha po. So, minultiply natin yung dalawang first term ng given expression. That is 3x times 3x. So, we can get the first term, which is 9 squared. Then, ang susunod natin is the outside term. Since ang outside term ng unang expression is 3x, then pagdating sa second expression, ang kanyang outside term is negative 7. So, we need to multiply 3x by negative 7. So, 3x times negative 7, that is equivalent to negative 21x. 
Nakuha po? Apo. Okay. Then, the next thing to do is to get the inside or the inner term. So, ang inner term naman natin sa first expression is negative 7. Negative. While on the second expression, that is 3x. So, multiply lang din natin siya, negative 7 times, neg uh, times 3x, that is equivalent also to negative, negative 21x. X. Apo, tama po. Okay. Then, for the last term, ang last term ng first expression is negative 7 at ang last term ng second expression is negative 7 also. So, negative 7 multiplied by negative 7, that is equivalent to positive 49. Because negative times negative, that is positive. Positive. Okay. Since ang outer at inner term natin, is like term. Pag sinabing like term, parehas ng parehas lang. Variable. Okay? So, meron tayong negative 21x plus negative 21x. Combine lang natin sila. Kopyahin yung sign. The sign is negative. Then, you simply add 21 plus 21. That is 42. Then, copy the variable which is x. Kaya ang sagot natin will become 9x squared minus 42x plus 49. So, it's the same process as nung kanina. Parehas lang po sila ng sagot. We have 9x squared minus 42x plus 49. Okay. Another example. We have example number 2. So, example number 2 multiply 4x plus 5 squared. Ayan. So, ang first term natin is 4x. The second term is 5. So, square the first, te uh, first term for step number 1. So, we have 4x. 4x squared. So, 4 times 4 is 16. Then, x times x is x squared. So, the first term will be 16x squared. Step number two, so we have twice the product of the two terms. So, two times the first term is 4x times the second term is 5. So, two times 4x is 8x multiplied by 5 that is equivalent to 40x. Then, step number three is to square the last term. Since ang last term natin is 5, so, 5 square or 5 times 5 is 25. So, the product is equivalent to 16x squared plus 40x plus 25. So, using again the FOIL method, ito na po, another method. So, using the first term, we have 4x times 4x. That is equivalent to 16x squared. The outside term will be 4x times 5. That is equivalent to 20x. Positive. Uh, positive 20x. Then the inside term will be 5, plus, uh, uh, 5 plus times 4x. That is equivalent to 20x. Then we have the last term is 5 times 5. That is equivalent to 25. So same process. Combine like terms. The outside and the inner term. So, 20x plus 20x is equivalent to 40x. So, the expression will be equivalent to 16x squared plus 40x plus 25. Nakuha po bang square of a binomial? Opo, ma'am. Nakasunod po. Opo, ma'am. Okay, salamat. Opa. Sige, let's proceed with the sum and difference of two binomials. Ano kaya ang pinagkaiba niya sa square of a binomial? Mapapansin ba? Check niyo yung example. Ito, yung example na nakaka-highlight. Ayan. May pinagkaiba po ba sila with the square of a binomial? Meron po. Kung kanina, 
we have a plus b squared is equivalent to a plus b times a plus b. So, si sum and difference of two binomials naman, we have a plus b times a minus b. Ayan. Anong pinagkaiba nila? Ang pinagkaiba po nila is just the sign. Kung kanina, sa square root a binomial, kapag positive, parehas positive yun. Pag negative, parehas negative yun. A plus B square is equivalent to A plus B times A plus B. Ang A minus B square is equivalent to A minus B times A minus B. Ito naman, magkaiba yung sign. Tama po ba? Kasi nga, ang sabi, uh -huh. sum and difference of two binomials. Sum, that is A plus B. Difference, that is A minus B. Binomial, two binomial. Dalawang two terms. Tama po ba? A, B, A, B. One, two, one, two. So both they have two terms. So ano na ang sabi sa sum and difference of two binomial? The product of the sum and difference of two binomials is a special product result into a difference of two square. Its product is equal to the square of the first term minus the square of the second term. So, ano daw ang gagawin? Meron lang dalawang steps to be followed in getting the product of sum and difference of two binomial. So, yung una daw, you need to square the first term minus the square of the second term. Huwag kakalimutan yung word na minus ha. Minus. Okay. So, example. We have a plus b times a minus b. So, sabi, square the first term. Since parehas silang letter a ang first term, that is a square or a times a. So, the answer is a square. Then, sabi, minus, kaya ang ating sign is negative, minus the square of the second term, since parehas ang second term natin, yung isa ay positive B, yung isa ay negative B. Tama po ba? So, positive B times negative B is equivalent to negative B square. Okay? So, example, we have 2x plus 7 times 2x minus 7. So, applying the step, we have step number 1, square the first term, that is 2x, parehas 2x, tama po ba? So, 2x square, that is 2x times 2x, that is equivalent to 4x square. Square the second term, the second term is 7, so, 7 times 7, that is equivalent to 49. Apo. Kaya lang, since ang sabi kasi sa ating step, it should be the square of the first term minus. Okay? Minus. Bakit magiging minus? Kasi po, magkaiba yung sign ng ating second term. Yung isa ay positive, yung isa ay negative. Apo. Kaya magiging sagot natin is 4x squared Minus 49. Minus. Okay? Yes. Okay. Another example, we have 4R plus 3T times 4R minus 3T. So, square the first term. So, both first term is 4R. So, 4R squared or 4R times 4R is equivalent to 16R squared. Opo, R square. Kasi 4 times 4 is 16. R times R is R square. Then the square, the second term, which is 3T. 3T square, that is 3 times 3 is 9. T times T is T square. So the answer is 16R squared minus 9T squared. Square. Okay, that's correct. 
Nakuha po ba? Opo ma'am. Sigurado po. So let's Opo, proceed with activity number one. Sige, kindly open your activity sheet number one. Okay. So we have the first activity, which is the special product. So the direction is to complete the crossword polynomials by finding the indicated product below. So example number one, across. So I will do the answering for number one, across. We have A plus 3 times A plus 3. Okay, so we have A plus 3. Tama po ba? Times A plus 3. Tama po ba ang given ko? Tama po ba ang given ko? Opo, ma'am. Okay. So, since ang given ko ay A plus 3 times A plus 3, this is an example of, isang example to? Square of A binomial or sum and difference of two binomials. Isang example to? Square of A binomial or sum and difference of two binomials. Okay, that's correct. This is an example of a square of a binomial. A plus 3 times a plus 3 can be written as a plus 3 square. Ayan. So, pwede din daw siyang isulat like this. So, this is an example of square of a binomial. So, by following the step, ano yung step number one natin? <clears throat> step number one. Yan. Step number one. Ano yung first step? In the square of A binomial. Anyone? Ano po yung unang step natin? In square of A binomial. Square the first term. Okay, square the first term. Since ang first term natin is A. So, A square or A times A. A times A is equivalent to A squared. Okay. How about the second step? Ayan. Anong second step? Ang second step natin ay May nakakaalala po ba ng second step natin? Square the second term. No, that will be the third step. That is twice the product of the first and second term. So that will be 2 times the first term is A times the second term is 3. Tama po ba? So 2 times A, 2 times A is 2A times 3 this is equivalent to land. Yes, Luis. 2 times A times 3 is equivalent to Ay, nag-ano siya. Apo. Sagot po ay 6 6A. 6A. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Then, step number three, we have... Step number three, 
So, yung sinabi kanina, we have to square the last term. Since ang last term natin is 3, so 3 square or 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is? 3x. 3 squared. 3 times 3. 3 squared. 3 times 3 is? 9. Okay, that's correct. 9. I hear it. 9. Okay. So, ang ating product is a squared plus 6a plus 9. So, this is now the product of a plus 3 times a plus 3. So, lagay natin siya dun sa activity sheet natin. So, how are we going to write the answer? So, we draw again. So, ang sagot daw natin ay a squared plus 6a. Tama po ba? Apa. Ayan. Nakikita niya kung paano sinasagutan. Apo. Then, the last term is plus 9. Okay. So, let's answer naman po yung 1 down. Okay? So, using again the paint. Ayan. So, new lang natin. So, ang given po sa number 2, pakibasa po yung given sa number 2. We have A plus 9. Tama nine. ba? Okay. Times a a minus minus nine. nine okay nine so ito naman ay example na ano naman to yung kanina is square of a binomial ito naman ay sum of the difference of two binomials Okay, very good. Sum and difference of two binomials. So, meron tayong first step and the second step. Tama po ba? So, first step Apo. is to... Ano yung first step natin? First step is to square the... First term, since the first, first term, term natin is a, that is uh, apo, a times a or a square. So, ang sagot natin dito ay a times a is a squared. Okay, then ang second term natin is 9, positive man yan or negative. So, we have to square 9. 9 square or 9 times 9. What is 9 times 9? Ma'am. Po? 81. Okay, that is 81. That's correct. Okay. So, ang sabi doon, kapag sum and difference, square the first term minus the square of the second term. So, this will become equivalent to a squared minus 80. One. So, this is now the product of the sum and difference of two binomials, which is a plus 9 times a minus 9. nine. So, sulat natin siya dun sa sagot. So, since yung number 1 natin sa across ay may a squared na, so, dudugtungan lang natin siya ng negative 81. 81. So, may sagot na yung 1 across as well as 1 down. So, you do number 4 to 12 across as well as 2 to 10 down. So, kindly write your answer on the activity sheet. So, dyan na kayo mismo magsasagot. Nagkakaintindihan po? <coughs> so, again, ulitin ko ulit. Ang pasahan pa po is until Monday. So, huwag niyong pwersahin na tapusin ng isang araw lang kung kaya kung kaya nyo tapusin ng isang araw go pero kung hindi po 
pwede pa po yan sa mga susunod na araw. Since ang retrieval naman po ng ating activity sheet ay Monday pa po. Then kung meron po kayong mga question regarding po sa pagsagot, you can free to us doon po sa ating GC ng Batikulin. Huwag na po mag-special message or PM para po in case na same question lang po yung itatanong nyo at ng classmate nyo, at least isang sagutan na lang po. Or at least malaman din nila na, ah, ganun pala yun. Nagkakaintindihan po. So, no need to private message si ma'am. Doon na lang po tayo sa group mag-chat. Para yung tanong nyo, nalalaman din ng ating classmate. Okay? Another activity to do is yung activity number two. So, activity number two is special product. Again, so the direction is to tell whether each polynomial is a special product or not. Okay? So, ilalagay lang po ay special product or not. Pwede rin shortcut ng special product ay SP. SP or not. Activity sheet na po. Yes po. Kasi ibabalik niyo po sa akin yan on Monday ng nak-envelope with your name, grade, and section. Okay po. Brown envelope po. Brown envelope. So, sa retrieval po, make sure na nakalagay ang inyong name as well as grade and section. Okay? Then, for the reflection, check nyo yung activity sheet. Pinakalagay po dyang reflection. So, ito po yung question doon. Today, I learned about blank. Today's lesson made me realize blank. Then I will do blank. So, dugtungan nyo lang ng ilang sentence or word para sa ating reflection. Nagkakaintindihan po ba? Apo. Okay. Then for your assignment, do an advanced study on lesson number two, which is polynomial with common monomial factors. So, yan yung sa module number one, page four, Onwards. Ayan. Check nyo na lang po. Pero i-chat-chat ko rin po sa GC kung anong pages po ang sakop niya. So that will be lesson number two. Sige, start and sitting na po. Picture lang ako saglit. Pwede po ba pa-open ng inyong camera? Pa-open po ng camera so we can have a check. Change layout ko lang ha. Ayan. Ayan. Sige, pa-open kang po. Thank you po. Picture lang ako. Mga tatlo. Isa. Ayan lang ha. Isa. Dalawa. One, two, three. Smile. Isa pa po. Last one. Okay. One, two, three. Smile. Thank you. Ayan. Sige. Pwede na po kayong magsagot ng inyong activity. Then kung may question po sa GC na lang po ah. I'm still open. Ayan. Thank you po. Pwede na po mag-leave. Salamat. Thank you po, ma'am. Thank you po. Halikat ko, ma'am. Thank you po. Thank you po.